Uh, Representative Dixon. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, Lady, and uh, Representative Lambert. I applaud you for what you're doing. And please don't take this condescending, uh, lecturing, or any of those things. And, and I'm going to use my own uh, example. Uh, I started this session with a proposal of a four cent tax on gas, knowing full well, you know, thinking that if we could generate more money, 75% of what is generated would go to the state to deal with this 14 billion backlog. 25% will go to parishes uh, to help them have some matching funds, uh, hopefully to get some federal funds during this age of stimulus money. And maybe try to do it on both ends to get where we want to go. And I see your bill as an innovative attempt to do the same thing. I had to back away from my bill as we discussed in Sunday school, Ezekiel. Uh, after we finished discussing Ezekiel, had those brethren in church at Nazarene Missionary uh, ba uh, Baptist Church confront me, and they wanted to know, and they used terminology that was unbecoming of a Christian after dis discussing <laughs> Ezekiel. So I, I, I'm, I'm using my personal uh -huh. example. You know that bill does not exist within the aisles of the house anywhere. It's gone. <laughs> okay. okay. But we have to, that still leave us with $14 billion that we got to try to deal with. We've had surplus money. We've had stimulus money. That's gone. Have, it's going to be gone. It's going to be gone, so it's patchwork. And I'm going to relate to another situation and going to request that you seriously give consideration to a study resolution. And you put that in, I think the correct term is, uh, uh, no, well, yeah, but I want to, uh, what is that the thing? Representative Downs. They got me in trouble. Uh, he he had a, a study resolution on on traffic tickets, and uh, and it was I think two years study, but it was good information. Uh, it didn't pass this distinguished body, but I think it did a whole lot of good in <laughs> folks trying to use traffic tickets as a means to, uh, uh, you know, fund some of these small towns. And I got in a, a lot of trouble, but I supported Representative Downs on that. And what I'm saying, what we don't know about your proposal concerns me more. And w you've said yourself, ask them when they come up here. How much money are they generating on this? Ask them. And that's what we need to do. But that's why I'm, when they come up here, please. But I don't think that's the that's the process because I'm going back to Representative Billiard. What happens then when the press come? There's too many things we don't know, and our peers are not going to know it from this short period of now to when we go there. And so, if we have this in a study res resolution, I think we do have. And I voted against the traffic lights when this bill was brought here. I didn't think uh, we needed to, to go there, but your bill has merit. If we're going to go there, then maybe we can see by our districts uh, how these funds could go into places like where Representative Arms. Just because they have no traffic light, they're still going to have bridges and roads that are going to need to be repaired. So a good study resolution, I think, could bring back information to us. And I know I'm being long-winded, Madam Chair Lady. But but I'm just trying to emphasize. I really think if we could, uh, we could have that. I think you do have something that we can, uh, we can grow on. I, I thank you for that. But I think that part of the problem with state government, all government is, we study all the time and nothing happens. And you know, I think it's time to move, you know, this forward. And I mean, I, I respect your opinion and I appreciate what you're saying. But the problem is, when we study something, all we're doing is pushing it down the road. Thank you.